Now let's take a look at a live example of rounds uh, just to get into the loop. I want you to understand how the rounds would be. Um, you don't really have to be into the round to understand it. I'm going to give you a very live example right now that I created for you and it will make you understand how rounds uh, actually happen and what happened w within the rounds and how the discussions are uh, usually held. Let's take a look at this example here. Good morning, everyone. Let's get started. In room one, we have a 59-year-old female status post-appendectomy a week ago, admitted with complaints of abdo pain and nausea and vomiting. Blood culture positive for Staph aureus 2 out of 2. On two antibiotics, tazacin and vancomycin. Vital stable, BP 135 over 85, pulse 75, respiratory rate 15, temperature normal. Do we have her labs from today? Yes, labs look much better, with WBCs and neutrophils trending down, all other CBCs are within the reference range. CRP is trending down too, today's is 45, and lactate is low. Great! Let's check on her. Hi, I am Dr. Johnson. Are you Sandra? Yes, I am Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Do you know where are you? At the hospital. Yes, correct. Can you tell me your full name? Sandra Stoneson. What's your date of birth, Sandra? February 3rd, 1964. Thank you. And how are you feeling today, Sandra? Much better. Thanks. Great. So we think you might be having a complication from your recent surgery. And that's why you've been having the abdominal pain and nausea and vomiting. We took a blood sample from you, cultured it, and found a bacteria growing in your blood. So we're treating this infection now with antibiotics through your veins. Once we clear your blood from that bug, you will be good to go back home. Sounds good? Yes, understood. Thank you. No problem. Do you have any questions or concerns? No thanks. I am just wondering if I can go for walks? Absolutely. The nurse is here and she'll arrange that for you. All right. See you tomorrow, Sandra. Hey, Joe, are you monitoring her vancomycin? Yes, her trough level is pending for tomorrow morning and her kidney function is stable. We received susceptibility results and she's growing MSSA bacteremia and MSSA in her operative wound. So I think we can switch her antibiotics to cefazolin 2 grams Q8H and discontinue both tazacin and vancomycin. What do you think, Dr. Johnson? Oh, absolutely. Although I am also concerned about anaerobic bugs. Would cefazolin cover these as well? 